Welcome to another video. This is another functional equation and we're going to see how far we're going to get um, into it. We have the composition of f with itself such that you have x plus y as the argument and it splits into f of x plus f of y after the second composition. Now that second composition is the problem because if there was no second composition this would be what you call a Cauchy functional equation which we already know what the solution will be. Ah, okay I'm going to talk about that as the video progresses. Now if you like the shirt I'm wearing and you would like to support this channel please check the link in the description. I also posted um, a link in the community uh, tab. Just um, order whatever size you want. All sizes are there and um, I think there are about four options of colors, navy blue, black, red and gray. So just pick whatever size, whatever color. You'll be doing me a great favor. Not a lot of profit on it but you'll be helping me get my studio for my channel. Okay, let's get into the video. Remember, our focus is to find f of x, okay? So I can see f of x here. So how can I get rid of this guy? Well, just make it zero. But it doesn't look like I can make this zero. I can only make it f of zero. But at least on this side, I'm gonna get f of f of x. Okay, let's start with that. Let's say let y be equal to zero. So here I'm going to have f of f of x plus 0 is just going to be x. And I'm going to have f of x plus this is f of 0. If only I knew what f of 0 would be, then I'll be almost done. But I don't know what f of 0 is. Tap, 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 tap. But something has shown up. The second composition of x, okay, is always f of x plus f of 0. So see what I have. Let me try and switch it. Let's try and do y. Look, if I switch it to f of, f of y, if I make this 0, I'm going to end up with f of 0 plus f of y. Okay, now I'm trying to get rid of this x plus y or use the x plus y. That tells me that f of f of x plus y, <laughs> that's crazy, f of f of x plus y, which is what we had originally, is actually f of x plus y plus f of 0. Do you see what just happened? This, this, the same picture. Whatever you put here is going to come out here plus f of 0. Everybody has f of 0. So, it means I can work with what I have here. I don't have to deal with this second composition anymore. But I know, remember from the original, this is f of x plus f of y. This has f of x. This has f of y. This has f of x plus y. So it means this is equal to this. Do you see that? This is equal to this because this is this and it's this. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to have f of x plus y. Okay, equals f of x plus f of y. So what can we do? Because this f of zero is not going away. And Mentally, let's try to plug in zero 
for everybody, okay? So I have f of f of 0 plus 0 equals, it's going to be f of 0 plus f of 0. Yeah, that's it. No matter how you manipulate it, you're going to have f of f of 0 equals equals 2 times f of 0. Does it help me here? No. So this doesn't help me, okay? Yeah, it doesn't help me. I'm going to leave it for now, okay? It might help me. You never know. If only I had f of plus f of 0 here plus f of 0 here, then I could just replace the entire function. So what I could do, if I want to make these the same, what if I try to make this a minus? Wait, if I subtract f of 0 from here, then I have to subtract f of 0 from here, minus f of 0. But this guy is still there. Okay, this guy needs a partner too, minus f of 0. That means I have to subtract 2 from here. Nice. This is what I was looking for. I'm going to subtract f of 0 from here, f of 0 from here. I'm going to subtract 2 from here because this already has 1, so it makes things work out. So I'm going to end up with this function. f of x plus y minus, this is going to be f of 0 will be equal to, this is going to be f of x minus f of 0 plus f of y minus f of 0. Nice! Hey, let's define this as h of x plus y. We're going to define this as h of x. We're going to define this as h of y. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to say, let h of x be equal to f of x. So I am saying this is going to be this. This is going to be this. This is going to be this. So remember what I said. The Cauchy functional equation already has a solution. If I can modify this and make it look like a Cauchy functional equation, then I have my answer. And it's beginning to look promising. How do I know? Just one second. Just watch me. So H, actually I should have written this before writing this, but I wanted you to see it. So I can say H of X plus Y is equal to H of X plus h of y. If you remember at the beginning I talked about the Cauchy functional equation, that is it. This is a Cauchy functional equation. Because the f we're looking for is a continuous function. We know h also is continuous because you're just subtracting a constant from it. Okay, subtracting a constant from a continuous function means you still have a continuous function. See, we're just subtracting f of 0 from it. So h of x is continuous and it is a Cauchy functional equation. And if a functional equation, a Cauchy functional equation is continuous, you already know the solution. Like I said, so since f is continuous, h is also continuous. So we can say now that the solution to h of x can be written as kx, where k is real for all real x. 
That's it. So they just modified all kinds of stuff. So now that we found h of x, we go back and find f of x, which is not hard. So what is f of x? f of x equals h of x plus h of 0. What did we say was the solution to h of x again? Just kx. You know, I don't like writing this h of 0 anymore. I'm just going to replace it with a letter. I'm going to say c. So I'm going to say that this is equal to kx plus c. c equals h of 0. Okay. This is our solution. f of x is kx plus c. Now, you just getting the form alone. You see, we didn't, we, we, you couldn't guess by just get because you could have guessed this and then tried it and then, but this is the way to go. Now, we have f of x is kx plus c. What is k? And what is c? Well, the easiest way is to go back and do the composition. I might need to find a very easy equation to use. Here, no, here, I can use this one. f of f of x equals f of x plus f of zero. So let's try and use that here. So we have f of f of x is equal to f of x plus f of zero. In our case, f of x is kx plus c, and f of 0 is, hey, this was not correct. Recall f of, not h, it's f of 0. Come on. So this is our f of 0. This is going to be c, and this is going to be the solution that we have, which is kx plus c. This is kx plus c, okay. But on the left-hand side, let's clean this up. On the left-hand side, it's a composition. It's gonna be f of kx plus c. So what does this composition mean? It means this becomes the input for the function again. So on this left-hand side, you're gonna put this where x is, so it's gonna be k, this is your x is now all of this, which is going to be kx plus c plus c. kx plus c equals kx plus 2c. Nice. Okay, so we're going to get k squared x plus kc plus c equals kx plus 2c. Is that right? Yep. Whenever you have two polynomials equal to each other, then the coefficients must be, the corresponding coefficients must be equal. So it is common, common sense for you to say, this has kx, this has k squared x, so it means k squared must be equal to k. k squared minus k equals zero. If you solve this, you have k times k minus 1 equals 0, which implies k equals 0 or 1. So those are the two options of k. We can say that kc plus c equals 2c, right? This implies kc is equal to c, which means that c times k minus 1 Yes, equals zero. So we have C equals zero, or K equals. C is zero means our F of X will be equal to the option when this is zero and this is zero, so it's gonna be F of X equals zero. That's number one. The second option is when K is one and C is zero, so F of X is equal to x. These are the two and only solutions. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.